हेलो एवरी वन आई एम कंचन खेड़कर वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन आई पी वी फोर क्लासफुल एड्रेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू लेवल एंड थ्री लेवल क्लासफुल एड्रेसिंग द लर्निंग आउटकम्स आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द टू लेवल एंड three level addressing of classful addresses they will determine the number of block addresses range of addresses and subnetwork mask for subnetwork student will be also able to differentiate between subnetting and supernetting now let's start with the two level addressing the range of addresses allocated to an organization in classful addressing was a block of addresses in class a b or c now this diagram shows two level addressing in classful addresses here 32 bit addresses is divided into two parts net id and host id here net id is represented by n bits and host id represented by 32 minus n bit so class a has n equal to 8 class b has n equal to 16 and class c has n equal to 24 bit net id now the information extraction in classful addressing so information means the number of addresses present into a block then what is the first address and the last address of the block so for this or to calculate the number of addresses of a block the first step is the number of addresses in the block n can be find using this formula n equal to 2 raised to power 32 minus n to find the first address we need to keep the n leftmost bit as it is and 32 minus n rightmost bit to 0 similarly to find out the last address we need to keep n leftmost bit as it is and 32 minus n rightmost bit to ones let me explain the same concept with the help of this diagram so here to find out the first address we have to keep n ids as it is and the host ids to zeros similarly to find out the last address we need to keep n id as it is and the rightmost bit to 1 now let me explain the same concept with the help of one example an address in a block in is 100.22.20.21 then find the number of addresses in the block also find the first and last address of a block so here is the solution address 100.22.20.21 is in between the range of 0 and 127 hence it belongs to class a so the value of n for class a is 8 so the number of addresses in this block can be find out with the help of formula n equal to 2 raised to power 32 minus n so here the value of small n is 8 therefore 2 raised to power 24 is more than 16 lakhs so for a given particular address the number of addresses are more than 16 lakhs and the first address as i said earlier we need to keep the network id as it is and we have to set the rightmost bit to zeros so therefore the first address is 100.0.0.0 and the last address is 100.255.255.255 now let's see the another concept network mask network mask is also known as default mask Default mask in classful addressing is a 32 bit number. N leftmost bit set to ones and the 32 minus n rightmost bit set to zeros. Now here are three default mask in classful addressing. So for class A the mask is or the default mask is 255.0.0.0. For class B the default mask is 255.255.0.0 and for class c the default mask is 255.255.255.0 
Now let's see the another concept of classful addressing, three level addressing. Three ad three level addressing gives two concept: supernetting and subnetting. Subnetting. An idea of splitting the block to smaller blocks is known as subnetting. The network is divided into several smaller subnetworks. Each subnetwork having its own subnetwork address. Subnet mask is used when the network is not subnetted, but subnetwork mask is required when the network is subnetted. So here is a diagram which shows network mask as well as subnetwork mask. In network mask, net ID and host ID is present, which is represented by n bit and thirty two minus n bit. In subnetworking, there is a splitting of blocks. So here. the host ids are decreases so subnet id is represented by ni bits whereas host id is represented by 32 minus ni bits now three level addressing here from this diagram we can conclude that the subnetting increases the length of net id and decreases the length of host id to calculate the subnet id for each subnetwork we have this formula n sub equal to n plus log of s to the base two, where n sub is length of each subnet ID, n is length of net ID, and s is number of subnet which must be a power of two. Now, think about these two questions and write down the answer. The first question is find the subnet mask or the default mask for the following addresses. There are total four addresses A, B, C, D, and the second question is determine the subnetwork mask for a given address, and that address is two hundred dot two hundred dot fourteen dot twenty five. Now pause the video and write down the answer. Now here the solution is. For the first address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot fifteen dot sixteen, the default mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. Why? Because this class or this address is belongs to class C, and class C has two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero default mask. Like this, for the uh, further uh, three addresses have this default mask. So for Second address that is sixty dot one twenty dot twenty seven dot eighteen. The default subnet mask is two fifty five dot zero dot zero because it belongs to class A. Third address belongs to class C, and the fourth address belongs to class B. So that's why its default mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero dot zero. Now, let's see the solution for another question. That is determine the subnetwork mask for a given address, and the address is two hundred dot two hundred dot fourteen dot twenty five. Given addresses belongs to class C, therefore the default mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. According to the formula n sub equal to n plus log s to the base two, n equal to twenty four, and s equal to eight, which is the power of two, that is two raised to power three. So, if we put the value of n and s in our given formula, we'll get the n sub equal to twenty seven because the log of the value of the log two raised to power three base two is three. So here n sub equal to twenty seven. This diagram shows how the subnetting works. So here three number of ones are extended. So instead of twenty four, there are twenty seven ones in subnetworking. So the subnet subnetwork mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two twenty four. Now let's see the concept of supernetting. Now the idea is to combining the several class C blocks to create the larger range of addresses. Several networks are combined to create the subnetwork. Subnetwork mask is required when the network is sub. Supernetted and exactly reverse of the subnet. So here, the supernet mask for class C has less ones and subnet mask. 
Now this diagram shows the comparison of subnet mask, default mask and supernet mask. So here the subnet mask in this diagram the subnet mask where the net IDs are increased in default mask it is specified and in supernet mask the net IDs are decreased. Now supernetting decreases the length of net ID and increases the length of host ID. To find the length of supernet ID we have this formula n super equal to n minus log c to the base 2 where n super defines the length of the supernet ID, n is length of net ID and c defines the number of class c blocks that are combined. So let's see the disadvantages of classful addressing. As we know in classful addressing class A and class B addresses are wasted. So here the subnetting first disadvantage is subnetting and supernetting in classful addressing did not solve the address depletion problem. Whereas the, uh, it made the distribution of uh, addresses and the routing process more difficult. So in this video we have learned about the IPv4 2 level and 3 level addressing and also the concept of supernetting and subnetting. These are the references. Thank you.